Hey guys, Kev here, and it is time to crown the winner. The 2022 Knife of the Year for the Lefty EDC channel. Dun, 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 dun. You know, everybody cares what I think. <laughs> this is just my opinion. You guys can do whatever you want. Think whatever you want. If you agree, you agree. That's awesome. If you don't, it's okay. I, I You know, I might not love your knife as much as you love it. But you probably don't love shit as much as I do. So we don't have to, you know, we don't have to get upset about it. Let's all be friends. I love you guys, okay? So we have the slip joint category. We have the Jack Wolf Knives. Venom Jack. So I'm going to keep the slip out because it's, it's part of the package for me. Uh, it's a Northwoods Leatherwork slip. Check out Northwoods Leatherworks. Troy is amazing. And you guys wouldn't believe these slips, if you go hit them up, say Lefty sent me, 35 bucks Shipped. Come on. It's amazing. Venom Jack, Titanium, M390, Belt Satin, Full Hollow Grind, Mars Valley, Fat Carbon, Walk and Talk for Days. Oh, so good. That was your slip joint category winner. Your $500 plus category winner. Essentially, your CNC custom winner, Craig Brown Knives FSD Mini. Now, it was really the only contender in that category, but this would have beat anybody in any category to get here. So, Mini FSD, just a wonderful knife. And I don't think I mentioned it, but it, it's retail, it's $800. Then you have the Renegade Provisions Co. GOM, or God of Mischief. And this was the winner of the three to five hundred dollar category, and this knife is absolutely incredible. Just ah oh man, I really love this knife. Made by Riot, killed it. Chris did a great job with this design. I have two. Plan to have another one. Um, just really love the design. Love the knife, and uh, yeah, it's special. So that's the gom. Your winner of the 100 to 300 category, the TW price, Dawn. This is a fabulous knife for the price point. $290 in this configuration. Hand satin, milled titanium, nice clip, pivot collars. Good action. I mean, it's not great, but it's really good. It just has a light blade, so it's not going to guillotine, but it's fantastic. Good front flipper. You can do the roll. All of these, if applicable, have skiff bearings in them. So slip joint, can't really do that. But it does have phosphor bronze like these. Uh, dead centered, just, uh, man, this is such a good knife. I love the TW Price Dawn. Then you have the budget category, so sub $100 category. This is the Tempest Knives Pinion. My buddy Casey over there, killing it on the budget end with this skiff bearings on this just feels so solid for a $85 knife i paid $85 for this black micarta 14c stone wash got the lynch clip on here just oh, man i really like this knife and it killed the that category can't wait to see what he does in the future so those are your contenders um and uh, I think we're going to have to start eliminating folks. So I don't think it might not go the way people think in terms of probably people are thinking, well, it's just going to go price point, right? Um, for sure, it's going to start that way. So I'm going to pull opinion out first. Um, you know, I think it's hard for a knife that's $85 to contend with an $800 knife or $300 knife, et cetera, right? That... It's nothing against, I mean, what am I saying? This made it to best knife of the year table or whatever you want to call it. And technically made it to the top five of knife of the year, which is, you know, saying something. I would say, I mean, if you care what I think, but I love this knife to death. And I just don't want it to be taken away from it, but I have to remove it from here at this point. Love the knife. Go check it out. This is actually available. So this is one of the knives that's actually available right now. Three of these, I believe, you can pick up right now. So I'll tell you as we go. But the pinion, I mean, just look at that action. It's just crazy. And keep your eyes out for the Tempest Knives Microburst coming soon. Oh, the centering off? Oh, I got to mess with that. 
think I've said that before, haven't I? Probably just let it go. It should be right there, and it's not. All right. But that, you know, 85 bucks. that's kind of how it goes. That's why it's not going to win the overall, but fantastic. All right, so next you'd think price point, probably pull out the uh, TW Price Dawn because it's, you know, less money than these others. And that's, you know, it's really hard for me to do. I think because it's not as lefty friendly as the rest of these, it would go next. I love the front flipper on it. Very satisfying. You wish the lock bar access was just a little bit better, but it's not like bad or anything. I just miss it sometimes. Um, really, really good knife. Hmm. This is tough. Hmm. All right, I think I am going to pull the GOM here. So the Renegade Provisions Co. GOM made it to the top four knife of the year. But I think just based on aesthetic, as much as I love this and I love a warning and all of the goodness here, I do wish there was more option. Like, I wish there was a camo carbon option or just some other options that I could have got. I had to kind of make this, you know what I mean? Um, not that I mind that or anything, but, yeah, I think for that reason, I'm going to pull that one out. Where this has that beautiful milling. I mean, it's just gorgeous. Look at that. Um, with that said... I think this is going to come out next. So, um, yeah, love it. I mean, we're talking top three here, so it's not really negatives at this point. It's just, yeah, I like something else better. Really love the Dawn, though. This thing is incredible. No, you can't have it, Nick. Um, all right, setting the Dawn aside. So we're down to, we're down to the... Mini FSD, the knife I've screamed and yelled is the best knife ever made. The best knife ever made. And then we have the Jack Wolf Knives Venom Jack. Which, I'll be honest, up until last month, I was saying that I thought the Jack Wolf Midnight Jack would be the overall kind of knife of the year for me. Just because of how much I absolutely adore this knife. Man, damn. Uh, <laughs> but the Venom just kind of overtook it slightly uh, as my favorite slip joint. I think it's, I don't know what it is, the, the Ergos, I think. And it's just the fact that the handle's a little more around it. It just makes it easier for me to pop like that. And this thing is broken in so well. Stupid good. It's been a crazy year, guys. It's been an absolutely crazy year. So I got to tell you, which is the knife of the year here? The best knife ever made? The best slip joint of 2022? All right. Here's my answer. <laughs> And uh, let me explain, because I know some people are going to get up in arms here. The Jack Wolf Knives Venom Jack is going to be my knife of the year for 2022. And there's multiple reasons for this. It symbolizes something for me. A transition, so to speak. <laughs> Sounds weird. But I... If you go back to last year, even, around this time, I would have never thought that I would be sitting here talking about slip joints at all. 
really, right? I, I knew about Jack Wolf. I was excited about Jack Wolf, but it hadn't come to fruition yet, and I hadn't really gotten anywhere near a rabbit hole on slip joints. And now we sit here, and I just did a video on slip joints where I showed all eight of the Jack Wolfs I have, each of them in some awesome fat carbon. And then my second reason for choosing this is my affinity for Troy's work with the slips. There's just something that's happening with me where this and this together just equals perfection. Like, I just absolutely love this combination of things. I don't know what it is. I can't really, I can't tell you why. I can't, like, it's just, it's unexplainable. But it just makes me happy, and it makes me want to carry it. And that's the important thing, right? So, like, where a year ago, easily this would have won, right? This would have won easily last year. And this still, I mean, you could interchange here, but I'm making a point. I'm making a statement with this. I've just evolved or whatever. I don't know what you want to call it, my tastes and, and EDC have evolved. I don't not like folders and whatever anymore, but there's just something special about this combination of things. And I think Ben has something super special that he's doing. Um, it's incredible to see month after month and they just get better and better. And it's, it's very, it's very incredible in my opinion, but then you add Troy to it who just crushes these slips every single time. Um, and I just, there's something about the feel of it. Um, seeing that mold where you can see the knife pattern through the, the, the leather. And then, you know, you slide it in there and uh, look at that. Just look at that fit. And then you drop it in your front pocket and it, it disappears in there because it's nice and thin and lightweight because Ben does a great job with that. And this combination is my favorite thing in the knife world right now. These two guys, Northwoods Leatherworks Co. and Jack Wolf Knife, Jack Wolf Knife Co., Jack Wolf Knives. That combination is my favorite thing going right now. And it's just what it is. I don't. I can't help it. I can't, you know, I know some people are going to sit there and be like, oh, well, you know, he gets the Jack Wolves every month and he's just saying that Ben paid him or some shit. Um, ben, if you want to send me, if you want to send me a check, bro, please do. Um, but no, that's not the case. And I, I try to state this whenever I can. I buy these almost every time multiple like i bought two of this mars valley one um he sent me a micardo one if you watch my unboxing so i spent my money twice on two more to get the one i wanted right and that's what i've done the whole time and then i get the slip shout out to troy for making me the slips um but i don't know it's the walk and the talk that that feeling right there And I think it has something to do with the fact that I've gotten into fidgeting and stuff like that. Um, this kind of combines the two, even though you think, you know, it's not a locking knife. It doesn't drop shut, but it has its own fidget factor that honestly is better. At this point, I think it's better than flicking a knife. Doing this and hearing that and feeling that. Oh, just just watch it bounce. Shunk. Blink. I mean, mm, just something about it. Can't explain it till you handle it and do it yourself and maybe feel it. Not everybody's going to feel the same way. You won't know, but this is how I feel right now. My choice for knife of the year, 2022, Jack Wolf Knives, Venom Jack, AKA the Venmo Jack. And, uh, I think it's very deserving. You could probably pick any Jack Wolf. So if it makes you feel better out there watching, pick your favorite pattern, put that in this place. Um, but, you know, it's kind of the point is the you know, that Jack Wolf is sitting at Knife of the Year. I think Ben has put the work in 
The man has released eight or nine models this year, crushed it every time. Uh, I would say with poise and um, has done a great job in terms of marketing and just building a brand. Like, I mean, look at it. Look at how much he's done from the beginning of the year till now. It's very impressive. Uh, he knows what he's doing. And I don't want to shortchange Troy because this is by far my favorite non-knife thing that I have is his slips. That's how much I love these. They're just amazing. I, I don't, you know, um, it, it's not much else to say about that. He does make wallets and other things. If you're interested, check it out. Northwoods Leatherworks Co. But like my setup right now, every day, what I want to carry is this, something like this. Either a chickadee in a slip like this from Oak City Leatherwork. Yeah, I'm getting into leather slips. I think that has a lot to do with this. Or usually on my belt, right? Like this, I'll pop it on my belt. That way I can carry another folder. And then in my back pocket, I'll have a folder like this. And that's kind of been the way I've been rolling for months now since like October when I got the chickadee and it gives me a balance right when I feel like hitting the slip joint I pop that out play with that walk and talk cut with it do whatever right depending on the situation carry that in my front left and then when I need to use a knife and I don't have these because they're sitting on my desk or, you know, just whatever the reason is. I can quickly get it off my belt or out of my pocket. I always grab the chickadee, which is just a fantastic knife. And then when I want to, you know, do a little flicky flicky, I grab a FSD mini or uh, one of my knives from Devo, whatever. I'm usually carrying a prototype of some sort. Um, but this knife, there's no short changing it. It's just... It is probably, it's the greatest folding, locking knife, whatever you want to call it, of all time. I don't take that back. Um, but I'm like more invested in this somehow. I don't know. It's weird. It's hard to explain. Um, and then just to round out the carry, you have the flashlight, which I don't know if this started this year, but this is just by far the best flashlight on the planet. You, it's like, there's just no, you're not going to convince me otherwise. I'm sure you guys have your own favorite, but the CWF Micro Arcadian. And then lastly, some type of haptic coin from NJT Hand Power is going to round out what I'm carrying. And then take that back. Renegade Provisions Co. Hank or a Gondak Hank. And then the last thing would be this little pill container I carry. That's what I carry every single day, basically. Three knives, a slip joint, a fixed blade, some kind of locking folder or whatever, a haptic coin or fidget, a flashlight, always the CWF Micro Arcadian, a hank, and a little pill case. So there you go. That's a big change for me from last year, where last year I probably would have had two of these, right? Maybe a lefty knife and a righty knife. I would have had this. Uh, I may have had the Hank. I didn't even have glasses most of last year, but uh, may have had the Hank. Wouldn't have had probably a flashlight. If I did, it would have been like a ray light, something like that. And I didn't even know fidgets existed until like March of this year. So big, crazy year, guys. Uh, I don't know. It's awesome. So we keep evolving. I can't wait to see what happens at the end of 2023. I'd I'd be interested to see what I put on this table in 2023, but um, sorry, that was a very long-winded uh, answer to Knife of the Year 2022. Ben, take a bow, sir. Uh, your award, your medal will be sent out to you in the mail <laughs> in due time. Don't you worry. Uh, you also win some Ritz crackers, so congratulations. And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Can't wait to see the comment section on this one. There's going to be a lot of people who <laughs> scream and yell about it. And then there's going to be, I think, there's going to be a lot of people who agree with me. And, 
that means something, you know? So I love you guys. Uh, let me know what you think. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. And I will leave you with this.